What did the dryer say to the boring duvet cover that just got out of the washer? Don't be such a wet blanket. Today, I'm going to recap a 2015 adventure drama film called Max. The movie opens up with a short introduction about dogs being used during the times of First World War. It is also mentioned that more than 3,000 dogs served in the U.S. military forces during their wartime in Iraq and Afghanistan. Following this, a well-trained army dog, Max, is seen leading a group of U.S. soldiers to a village in Afghanistan. While the villagers are protesting against the arrival of the soldiers, Max and his handler, Kyle, enter a house. Max continuously smells over a carpet and discovers the hidden compartment of guns and other deadly ammunition. It is then proved that the villagers are selling illegal ammunition to the terrorist. After a tough day at work, Kyle returns to his base and talks to his parents back home, his mother Pamela and father Ray. Ray is also a retired U.S. military officer. The parents seem to love Max, and they treat him like a member of their family. However, Kyle's brother, Justin, does not seem to be fond of dogs. He also does not like his father being strict and trying to keep him under control. Justin mostly plays video games and even pirates them to sell in his friend circle. In the next scene, Kyle is called by his superior to his office. There, the superior tells Kyle that the guns they collected from the village the other day are fewer in number and doubts that someone from their group is stealing them. Kyle then confronts his group and gets to know that his best friend Tyler is the one who is doing all this. However, since does not want to ruin their friendship, he decides to give Tyler a chance. The next day, when Kyle and his group are on their next mission, Max leads them to a place and stops in the middle, as if he has sensed something. In the meantime, Kyle confronts Tyler that he knows about his illegal business of smuggling weapons. However, instead of apologizing, Tyler asks Kyle to remain quiet and focus on the mission. He also orders Max to keep going, and because of this, Max runs into a trap set by the terrorist. Sadly, several explosions occur around Max, and seeing this, Kyle runs to save his beloved dog. He asks Tyler to provide him with cover, but Tyler leaves him alone and hides in a safe place. As a result, Kyle is killed in the shootout. In the following scene, the military officers visit Kyle's house to inform his family about his death. When the family is supplied with the news, the parents along with Justin are devastated. Later, the family gathers in a church to perform the last rites for Kyle, and Max is also brought there. He seems very sad to have lost his master and silently sits beside his coffin. After the ceremony, when the officers try to take Max away to their military base, he does not comply with them and retaliates. However, the dog recognizes Justin and approaches him, believing that he will take care of him as Kyle did. Sadly, Justin accompanies the police officers and helps them put Max inside a police van to take him to a dog shelter. The next day, as Justin is playing video games, he starts reminiscing about his late brother. Sad he visits Kyle's room and goes through his pictures and belongings. At the same time, Ray also arrives there and tries to console him. Surprisingly, Justin erupts and blames his father for Kyle's death. While the father-son duo is arguing over the matter, Pamela arrives there and informs them that Max is going to be put down by the military officers. Wasting no time, the family goes straight to the dog shelter to see Max. There, they meet with one of the dog's caretakers, who informs them about Max being violent and out of control. He also states that Max has been traumatized because of Kyle's death and has started to react violently to any loud noise or person around him. To their surprise, when Justin enters the room, Max becomes silent and sits on the floor. Max seems to follow Justin's orders as he senses Kyle-like features in him. After seeing Max behaving friendly with Justin, the family decides to adopt Max. Moments later, Justin and the family return home, but Ray mentions that they cannot take Max inside as he is too dangerous. Hence, they are compelled to tie him up outside the house. Later at night, Max keeps on barking and howling, disturbing the family as well as the neighbors. Ray yells at Justin and asks him to silence Max. Reluctantly, Justin wakes up from his bed and goes outside to calm the dog. As expected, Max becomes silent after seeing him, but does not allow him to leave afterward. 
With this, Justin is compelled to accompany him, as Kyle used to in the military camp. After Justin falls asleep, Max comes near him and guards him like a loyal dog. The next morning, Justin wakes up and goes to meet his friend, Chewie. There he also comes across Chewie's cousin, Carmen, who seems to be fond of dogs. When Justin mentions that he is having trouble with his dog, Carmen offers to help him take control of his dog and also train him. In the following scene, Justin can be seen getting ready for Carmen's arrival, putting on his best clothes to impress her. Moments later, Carmen and Chewie arrive there. Carmen teaches some tricks to Justin about how to go near a dog and makes him obey orders. After some hours of training, Justin is finally able to make Max walk alongside him. Just then, Pamela approaches Chewie and Carmen and invites them to stay for dinner. During the dinner, Pamela talks about Kyle and starts crying, making everyone feel awkward. Outside, Max starts barking aggressively, and soon, the doorbell rings. When Justin opens the door, he finds Tyler on the other side. The parents are happy to see their son's best friend and inquire about the reason for his sudden return from the service. Tyler tells them that he was injured in one of the battles and has returned home for recovery. Hearing this, Ray invites Tyler to the July parade. Later, when the family takes Tyler to see Max, surprisingly, the dog becomes aggressive and starts barking. Max even breaks his chain and tries to attack Tyler. Fortunately, Justin and Carmen stop him in the nick of time. Here we get to know that Max hasn't forgotten about the incident and has an eye for vengeance. The next day, Justin takes Max to a bicycle park, where he rides with his friends and Max follows him around. Later, when Justin returns home, he is surprised to find a cage in the front yard. On asking Pamela, he gets to know that Ray has made it for Max so that he won't be able to attack other people as he did with Tyler the previous day. Later that day, after locking Max in the cage, the whole family goes to the July parade. While others stay to enjoy the fireworks, Justin realizes that Max is alone and returns. He arrives home to find Max terrified because of the fireworks. Justin tries to take Max out of the cage, but the poor dog doesn't move an inch. As a result, Justin enters the cage and sits alongside Max to calm him down. The next day, Tyler meets with Ray and requests to let him work in his warehouse during his vacation. Ray also becomes happy and readily accepts his request. Later, while conversing, Ray asks Tyler about how his son died. Expectedly, Tyler lies, mentioning that Max was the reason for Kyle's death, as the dog disobeyed his orders and ran into the danger zone. Hearing this, Ray becomes enraged and rushes home, intending to release his anger on Max. He takes out a gun and points it at Max, but fortunately, Justin arrives there and stops him. In the next scene, Justin visits the military dog shelter and talks with one of Kyle's friends, Sergeant Reyes. Reyes tells him that Max is the best dog that has ever been trained in their facility and also assures him that Max could have never hurt Kyle. Furthermore, he informs him that Tyler is suspended from his job and also provides him with a DVD containing videos of Kyle training Max for the first time. Following this, Justin visits Tree's house and asks Carmen to watch the DVD with him. When he sees Max being friendly and obedient to Kyle in the video, he dismisses his doubt about Max turning up on Kyle. In the meantime, Chewie's other cousin, Emilio, who is associated with a cartel, meets Justin and forces him to provide him with a game that has been released recently. While they are talking, Emilio receives a call from Tyler, and this makes Justin suspicious. Hence, as soon as Emilio leaves, he along with Max starts following him. After some time, Justin arrives at a place in the middle of the woods where he can see Tyler meeting with Emilio. Soon, a group of Italian gangsters also arrive who are eager to buy weapons from Tyler. Here, Justin gets to know that Tyler is smuggling weapons from Afghanistan and selling them in the States. Right then, the gangsters' dogs hear Max barking and start running toward him. Despite being outnumbered, he defeats the two dogs and escapes with Justin. While running away, Justin bumps over a rock and his bicycle goes flying into a ditch. As a result, he is forced to run on foot through the dense forest. Luckily, they manage to reach the highway, where a decent lady offers them a lift and drops them home. 
When Justin walks inside his house, he is surprised to see Tyler and his illegal business partner, Deputy Stack, talking with his parents. It turns out that Tyler discovered Justin's bicycle in the woods and deduced that he saw them dealing with the weapons. Meanwhile, Stack pretends to have a wound on his hand and also claims that it is because of Max. He then tells the parents that they should take away Max as it is a danger for everyone. When Justin protests, Tyler asks to talk to him privately and threatens him to keep his mouth shut. Afraid of the safety of his family, he agrees to let Max go. Moments later, the dog shelter employees arrive there and take Max away. In the next scene, Tyler returns to work, and there, Ray confronts him for using one of their storage units without any paperwork. In reality, Tyler is using it to store guns, but he lies that it is being used by his friend. On the other hand, Max is brought to the dog's shelter, but is very difficult to control. In no time, he runs away from the place after attacking the security guards. Later at night, Ray walks up to Justin and tries to strike up a conversation, but the latter remains silent. Ray immediately deduces that his son is hiding something and urges him to speak, but as Justin is scared, he does not reveal anything. Later, Ray visits his storage units and catches Tyler and stack loading guns in a truck. He confronts them, but is held hostage by Emilio. Meanwhile, Pamela gets a strange voicemail from Ray, informing her that he will be spending the night in one of their hunting houses. The voicemail is strange, because Pamela does not recall owning any hunting house. Right then, Max arrives outside the house, and seeing him, Justin and Pamela become happy. Justin then takes Max and goes straight to Chewie's house. There, he tells Chewie and Carmen about his father's absence, and the group goes out to search for him. They arrive at the storage units and find a broken lock. Max smells the lock and guides them on the way toward Ray. After roaming around the whole night, Justin and his group finally arrive at a secluded place in the woods. They spot Tyler and his group, dealing in weapons with Ray inside their car, held hostage. Sensing the danger, Carmen returns to inform the police, while Justin and Chewie keep an eye on Tyler and his associates. Unfortunately, the dogs brought by Tyler's associates realize the group's presence and start running toward them. Surprisingly, even this time, Max defeats the two dogs. Because of this, Tyler and Emilio rush toward the woods to find Justin. When Ray notices that Stack is alone and has no one around, he manages to attack him and free himself. Soon, Max and Justin arrive there, and the father-son duo has an emotional reunion. However, the danger has not been averted yet, so they decide to make a plan. Both of them walk on different routes to confuse Tyler. Meanwhile, Stack gets inside his car and starts searching for the father-son duo. When he spots Ray and tries to run him over, Ray shoots the car, causing it to disbalance and explode under a bridge. Elsewhere, Max is eventually caught by Tyler, who bolts him at gunpoint. Tyler expresses his frustration for not being able to close the deal because of Justin and prepares to shoot him. Right then, Max attacks Tyler from behind, causing both of them to fall from the bridge and into the river below. Carmen also arrives with the officers, and all the bad guys are arrested. In the last scene, Justin and Max can be seen in front of Kyle's grave, where Justin is expressing his feelings for him. Justin thanks Kyle for leaving a dog like Max, and salutes him for the first time. Later, when he returns home, he finds Carmen and Chewie inside his house, with Pamela preparing for dinner. Justin is surprised when he does not find Max's cage outside the house. He inquires Ray about it, to which he replies that they won't be needing it anymore, as Max will be living with them as a family member. If you enjoyed this video, don't be shy to hit the like button, and if you disliked it, hit the dislike button twice, just to be sure. You should watch the whole movie. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe for more videos like this.